project in sixth grade, uh, I was noticing that there was lots of wars and missiles going on, so I decided to study about missiles. <laughs> um, so in the beginning introduction, uh, I couldn't really think of a hook story about missiles, so I just went right into what are they. And I explained about all different kinds, because I have lot, pictures of lots of different kinds of missiles, like ones that come from the ground and ones that are meant to um, blow up airplanes or blow up ground facilities, and ones that go all the way across the world, or ones that only go short distances. And after I did that, I cho um, found out about like exactly how did they take off, how did the guidance systems work, how did like the real nukes inside them blow up. And uh, one kind is when it's air to air, they have heat seeking. So if it's falling an airplane, it leaves a trail of uh, heat from the um, jets. And so the missile will like track the heat and follow it. And another kind is they'll have it ground controlled so that you can use GPS to track down the exact location. And there's lots of other kinds. And then uses of missiles is pretty simple. Use it to either threat other, other countries to not attack you or just to blow other people up. <laughs> um, where they come from, that's from uh, 1000 BC China. They came up with gunpowder and that evolved into rockets and fireworks and that became missiles. How do they work? This is a long section. I explained all the guidance more specifically and how, how like the gunpowder works, how it takes off. Um, and later, I don't know if it's going to be time, but you can see pictures of exactly the inside and how the different parts work. And over here, I drew my own. Uh, how do they change? I wrote about how newer missiles were better than old ones and how they overtook them. How did they change us? That one's pretty simple too. You just die. <laughs> How do we change missiles? That one's about inventors um, making new like jet engines or new technology guidance systems. Evaluation, uh, the costs and benefits. Well, uh, the cost is pretty the same as how they change us, you just die. But um, I came up with some benefits. Uh, you can you can use them to also stop war, like in the Cold War. Uh, they didn't they didn't fight because everyone was scared that they were all going to die, and so I, that's good. And also, missiles also help the exploration of aerodynamics and other rockets because. Some of, a lot of the systems used in missiles are the same as in rockets and space shuttles. And how are they evaluated? Uh, that one, most, it's, most of the people would, or a lot of people would think that they're bad because people would die from them. But some people might think they're good because, like an army general might think they're good because they're, good, they're a big part of the strategy of war. And um, yeah. Pretty much all I can.